The silhouette is all gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're the only reason. Yes, you're the only reason. Baby, you're the answer to my Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. Today's vlog, as you guys know from the title of the video, I'm going to share I mean the best news of my life ever with you guys, you know. I'm so happy to be able to do this vlog today. Um, I know I've been missing, I've been missing for quite a while. It was because, you know, I had to take this news for myself first and I had to digest it first before I gave it out to you guys, you know. But anyways, now I'm here, guys, I think it's the greatest news ever in the whole of my entire life. I'm pregnant, guys. I am pregnant. <laughs> yeah, that's why I've been so missing. You know, I had to step back and take in all of this by myself, like to really, really embrace everything and um, to be confident enough with my pregnancy status with myself and then I share with you guys. So, anyways, I'm also sharing because, you know, people are like, you know, when people see me on the street, they're just like, hi, you know, they kind of look at my face and then, but then they go down there and they look at it. That kind of thing so I just want to do away with those things I just want to inform everybody you know with this video that yeah I am expecting and I'm so so happy really Ooh, what's happening here I think this good <laughs> yeah I'm expecting and I am so so happy like really happy so as you guys can see yeah this is my little baby bump we are 16 weeks pregnant right now kind of I mean, time goes really fast, you know. Uh, it was in January that I found out, actually. And, and yeah, I haven't also like, really been feeling so well in the past months, but now I really feel well. I feel nice and feel, I feel good. So that's why I think it's the right time to share the news. And I didn't want to get blah, blah, too, too weak before I come here <laughs> to share the news. So yeah, that's kind of it. So I am 16 weeks in and um, so far so good. I mean the first, let me see, the first five weeks were kind of, I just felt bloated, like super super bloated and um, I knew already that, I knew within the five, first five weeks that I was pregnant because I was like, you know, I followed everything, I, I scheduled everything, okay, I knew everything, I knew when everything was taking place, <laughs> I knew. But anyway, I'm going to share all of that in the next video. The first five weeks were kind of like a little bit bloated here and there and really tired. I didn't have like, you know, those poignant pregnancy symptoms like, you know, vomiting and uh, um, no, I really didn't, just, I didn't have those in the first uh, five weeks. I was just tired and uh, I just felt bloated as I told you before. Like, I just felt like I was accumulating a lot of liquid, I think, because I, I, I felt so, so pregnant then. Then after the first five weeks, I like get into the sixth to the ninth week. It was then that I started like, hmm, you get into the bus. I mean, people who are sitting close to you had to be very careful because you just felt like everybody was thinking. It's like, you know, body odors became very, very poignant. So I, I, I mean, I could, I could smell everything from a distance. Even what? my husband would even eat something. And I'll be like, mm, you, what have you eaten? It's like, it just felt so, so strong. Everything, the smells just felt so, so strong. I was so smell sensitive. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm so, so, so smell sensitive. But then that period kind of passed. Uh, I had a little bit of, you know, a little bit of nausea around the eighth, seventh to the ninth week. Uh, but it wasn't like, it wasn't something like you're just throwing up every, you know, I wasn't really throwing up. I think I threw up once, just once, because I think then I had a fever. But I didn't throw up uh, after that. And um, I just had nausea, nausea and nausea and nausea and nausea, till like the 12th week, which was when I did my first ultrasound and on the 13th week, that's when I did my first ultrasound. And uh, oh my gosh, you know, that kind of thing. You feel like your body's changing, but you don't know, you don't see what's going on inside. It was then we kind of like, we went to the hospital. Yeah, I did, did the screening test and stuff like that. And that's when I had to see the baby for the first time. It was such a small, cute thing. Like, oh my gosh, I was like, oh my God. Really, really, that was like the confirmation of the pregnancy, actually. That was it. I was so, so emotional. 
but you know, just tough girl. I was just like, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, that kind of thing. But anyways, we are also so happy. And um, I mean, from the 14th week to now the 16th week, I think like I'm really feeling my best self, like super. Um, I get a little bit nausea, I think a little bit. I, I have a little bit of nausea sometimes, but not all the time. But then, of course, my appetite is not the same. My appetite has changed so drastically that I have to like, I actually have to make myself eat. I know I have to eat in the morning, I know I have to eat in the afternoon, I know I have to eat in the evening. Otherwise, I might, I might skip meals because I really don't feel so hungry. I don't feel hungry. But then when I don't eat, the kind of migraine I have is incredible. Like, I can't, I, I, I can't stand up straight. Like, I'm just like, oh my God, bent over. But um, since I know my body already, I just make sure I drink a lot of water. I eat on the, you know, on the appointed times, my breakfast, my lunch, my supper. I mean, today I skipped it because I was struggling to put up this video. So I have to do this fast and then I go have some breakfast. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be myself in a few minutes. Kind of like, I have to like make myself to eat and um, um, I have to drink a lot of water, as I said before. And of course, I continue to take my four, uh, um, kind of, uh, you call it in Swedish, for Sira, that is folic acid. Yeah, I have to take my folic acid every day. I have to take my omega-3 and I have to take my multivitamin. So it's like those are my stables. But anyways, I'm going to like this is just my announcement, just to let you guys know my status right now. So you guys understand why I have been missing for such a long time. Um, but I'm going to like update, you know, the different stages on uh, of this uh, whole pregnancy journey with you guys so that you guys uh, come along with me and enjoy the journey for those who want to enjoy the journey with me of course because I'm enjoying it guys I'm enjoying it yeah yes guys so basically in the coming videos I'm going to share the whole journey with you guys like how it started and because I have footage of everything well not everything almost everything so I'm going to like share that information with you guys and um, yeah because I know at my age getting pregnant is something that most people I mean the society is scared like really scared of women over 40 getting pregnant um, I, I assure you you know I assure you <laughs> the whole system the whole society is kind of scared but it is something that most women around this age in this era are going through and I don't know why like the society they have to like make room for this for this, for this kind of a circumstance, because most women these days are career women, they kind of push everything, like especially push their reproductive life towards the very middle. So I mean, they have to like take that into consideration and not make life hard for us, you know. So I'm gonna share all of that, and I don't know any of you who is uh, watching. Are you guys thinking of getting pregnant, or do you have babies, or? Oh, are you guys pregnant? I mean, how did you guys feel when you found out that you were pregnant? I can because I mean, I felt, I felt like my life immediately changed focus. I don't know if I explain myself. My life immediately had another kind of focus. I mean, things that used to be so so important to me in the past. I mean, they kind of like they are, they are right now. They're in the second plan. It's, I mean, everything I think I say or think I'll do has to do with this little guy or girl in here because we don't know. We don't know the sex of the baby yet <laughs> because we don't plan on doing that. We just want it to be like a surprise for us when the baby comes up. So how did you guys feel when you got pregnant or when you knew that you guys were going to have a baby? I would like to know, you know, just pop down, pop it down there in the comment section and let's start a discussion, you know, just let me know how you guys felt when you found out you guys were pregnant or you're going to have a baby. Uh, because for me, it was, it was really a milestone. I mean, a lot of, lots of things changed. I was, I was the happiest, like really, really, I was the happiest. My whole life focus changed totally. 
have to ask my partner in crime to come in and tell you guys a little bit how he feels about this whole project. Because it's not a one man's project, guys. It is not. But so far, so good. He has been the very most supportive person ever on this journey. Without him, I will be a total mess. I mean, he's the best thing that ever happened to me after this guy. Very supportive. I have no complaint whatsoever. Whatsoever. Okay. Here comes my partner in crime. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, come on. I'm just going to ask you a few questions. I know you don't, you don't like these things. <laughs> come in. Come on. Yeah, just come here. Come here. This is my partner in crime. You see, for once I'm taller than you. It's really nice. So, my God. I mean, this is like we're documenting everything. I'm taller than you. So honey, if you look at the camera, you look at me. Look at you. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, so be I feel like a sexy mama. I feel like a sexy mama. I feel like a sexy mama. One of the things that happens with pregnancy, as you guys know, you just lose all your silhouette, okay? It goes away. You just like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you just feel like boop 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 boop. I mean everything you eat gets to stay somehow. It just stays somewhere in the jaws, somewhere in the tummy, somewhere in the legs, but it stays, guys. It's just like the little one in there says, mm, Mom, you know something? We're gonna talk about this silhouette after I come and go, all right? But right now, am I in there? As long as I'm in there, we're gonna keep everything you put through your mouth. So, guys, the silhouette is all gone. <laughs> It's all gone. <laughs> but anyways, we are happy because we know what we're doing. Mm? Because right now we're in a factory. <laughs> yeah, kind of factory mode right now. So long as we're in factory mode, we don't care so much about the syrup. Mm? If you like the video guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe and share it with your loved ones. And if you'd like to know more about me, just head on to Instagram, Anjanance is the name of my handle on Instagram. And just check out, you know, and let's keep the discussion going. Without much ado, see you guys in my next vlog. Bye. Is it going? Yes. Oh my gosh, so many technical details to take into consideration, guys. Make a really nice vlog have to take so many technical details into consideration. You don't know how long I've been standing here trying to fix the lights, you know, microphone myself, and that kind of stuff. But anyways, we're getting into this video now. Uh -huh.